What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Today we are making roasted yellow pepper and corn bisque along with some summer squash we're gonna throw in there. A whole bunch of summer flavors in one soup. I'm excited. As always, all the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. Okay, since we are making roasted yellow pepper bisque, uh, you're gonna need to roast these. So set your oven to 375. All right, so you're gonna need four yellow bell peppers. We're just gonna take the stem off, get the seeds out, and that's pretty much it. All right, I'm gonna chop off this little blemish. All right, I'm gonna put the parchment paper on my baking sheet because I don't wanna have to mess with all the cleanup. So I suggest you do the same. All right, let's stick these in the oven for 40 minutes. And about halfway through, we're gonna flip them just to make sure they're evenly roasting. All right, let's bring them out. So you want these to be soft and collapsible, which they do appear to be definitely soft, definitely roasty on some sides. Yeah, that's what we want. Ooh, that was really roasty. All right, now what we're gonna do is put these in a plastic bag because we want the steam to release the skin. All right, I'm gonna set these aside. Now we want these to cool for about 30 minutes. So in the meantime, let's prepare our other veggies. So we're gonna get a summer squash. We're gonna cut this in half lengthwise and slice it thinly. And we're gonna dice one medium Vidalia onion. And three cloves of garlic. Doesn't say what to do with these. I'm assuming they need to be minced. Now we have one more special ingredient, red chilies. You need two. Now these are Thai chili peppers because they were the only red hot chili peppers that I could find. So this should be a nice spicy dish. So we're going to seed these and then just chop these thinly. All right, let's get started on our soup. We're gonna preheat a soup pot over medium to high heat. And while this is heating up, I'm gonna grab three cups of corn out of the freezer because they said you could use fresh or frozen. Don't judge. I'm just gonna let it thaw in here for a little bit. All right, now let's add our oil. And we're gonna throw in our onion and saute this for about five to seven minutes. While the onion is cooking, let's grab our bell peppers, take the skin off and start chopping them. The skin is magically just coming off, it's so nice. Okay, well it was coming off nicely. They're like vegan fish, so slimy. All right, now we're just gonna roughly chop these. All right, now back to the onions. We're now gonna add our garlic and our chilies. We're gonna saute this for about another minute. And add your corn and the squash. We're gonna cook this for about three to five minutes. We want the moisture from the squash to start releasing. Okay, our squash is starting to glisten a little bit, so it's time to add our roasted yellow peppers. And we're also gonna add our vegetable broth. Three to four cups. And we're gonna cover this, bring to a boil. Then we're gonna turn it down to a low and simmer it for about 20 minutes. Fun fact, nutmeg is the tropical evergreen tree that this grows on and is native to the Moluccas or spice islands of Indonesia. If you've ever heard of mace, the spice, well, it actually comes from nutmeg and it's the orangish red webbing that covers the seed. And although it tastes similar, it's a bit more peppery and pungent. And nutmeg, when eaten in large quantities, can even cause hallucinogenic effects that can last for up to two days. You saw that, right? All right, we're almost there. So I'm gonna grab a lime out of the fridge, give it a good shot, because we're gonna put the juice in the soup, along with some coconut milk, and we're gonna put a whole grated nutmeg in there. 
All right, now first, we're gonna put the coconut milk in the soup, and then we're gonna use an immersion blender, give it a good puree. We're gonna let this heat through again, and we'll be almost done. All right, we're starting to bubble a little bit, so we're gonna grate this nutmeg directly into the pot. And we're gonna add our maple syrup, and lastly, lime juice. I don't know about you, but that seemed like an awfully lot of nutmeg to me. Let's try it. So, you know, up close, this soup is, is pretty. It probably doesn't come across as pretty to you, because it's just a bunch of yellow. But there are little red specks in there with the nutmeg, it, you know, gives it a little bit of different color. But anyway, let's try. Ooh. I have to say, I wasn't sure what to expect from this. It smells really good. It has a nice, deep, rich, almost like spicy, obviously because of the Thai chilies, but it's just kind of like a peppery taste almost. I think it's that nutmeg that's coming through. This is a really unique, delicious soup. I am very much a fan of this. I'm a little surprised. I was a little worried about the spice level, but it's not, it won't kill you. Unless you're allergic to Thai chilies, I suppose. I think it would be a great summer soup, really anytime, but I think it would be a good summer soup because of the squash and the corn. It's an interesting soup. I'm a fan. I think you will be too. I say make it. I guarantee you haven't had anything like this. And if you want any Thai chilies, I have a whole pack. Got plenty. Just come on over. All right, y'all. I hope you liked what you saw today. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you did, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. And make sure to comment and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time. All right, we're almost there. So I'm gonna grab a lime, and it's the orangest red webbing. Orangest, did I say orangest?